Oh look, a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Video time. Uh, uh. Hello. <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Have you been ever tested by any professionals for anything? For the best, highest IQ in the land, sir. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Top five reasons why you're not losing weight. First one, you're drinking your calories. So a lot of friends, a lot of people make smoothies, they'll add stuff to their coffee or their tea and not realize that that's actually adding up as the day goes on calories that you may not be counting. Smoothies can contain a lot of sugar depending on what you put. If you're adding fruit, there's a lot of natural sugar in there. So if you're doing things like that, just be careful. Kyle and I realized when we were drinking smoothies, we were making protein shakes and adding all this fruit and peanut butter and stuff. It was adding up to a lot of calories and it's a lot easier to portion out your food versus drinks, especially when you're adding stuff we hear a lot of friends say, oh, but I need my sweetener or I need my milk or my cream or sugar in my coffee and tea. All that stuff, even if you're portioning it, does add up. Those, <laughs> those, um, those juice calories, in our opinion, are wasted calories. And they're, you're gonna see them popping up everywhere, especially in the summer, like even McDonald's is selling smoothies. Right, they're and marketing them as healthy. Yeah, you gotta watch those. Even in the grocery store today, I seen carrot juice and there's like 30 grams of sugar per half a cup. That's a really good point. It may be healthy because it contains carrots, but you do need to read the labels if you're drinking stuff like that. It does add up very quickly. Don't, All ever, don't ever take the marketing at face value. Right, because smoothies, are usually sometimes they're marketed as like protein smoothies and stuff too generally they really don't contain a whole lot of protein but they do contain a whole lot of sugar and a lot of carbs so if you are a person like us that has to watch your sugar and carb intake that can add up very quickly and you can be gaining weight or stopping losing weight because of that and you're not even realizing it also meal replacement stuff often contains a lot more sugar and carbs. So if you do want to drink that kind of stuff, check your labels religiously, check you're, them. You're often better off just drinking a glass of milk. Kyle and I always choose food over drinking our calories because food is much better and we can control what's in that stuff. If you're buying a juice or a smoothie off the shelf at a store or whatever, like Kyle said, they can contain tons of sugar. And not only are they wasted calories, they go through your system and don't provide a lot of long lasting energy, whereas food in your belly is gonna last a lot longer. Because you have to chew it and it has to go through the digestion process. When you're drinking a smoothie, it's already been processed in the blender, so you don't have as much to digest. You won't feel as full in our opinion, from our experience, we don't feel as full or satisfied when we're drinking our calories versus eating them in food. Even our protein shake is just a bridge to get to our next food meal. Exactly, it's not, we don't count it as a meal. It's a post-workout shake, but we come home and eat right after that. And for me, I also have egg whites and like rice cereal in that. So there is real food alongside the extra bit of whey protein. Yeah. Second reason why you're not losing weight. You're either doing a fad diet or you're taking away a food group. When Kyle and I were doing fad diets, we were taking away food groups because often fad diets ask you to take away something. Carbs, usually. We found eating a balanced diet as opposed to something that helps you lose weight super fast 
and requires you to take away food groups works better. When we did the fad diets where we took stuff away, we lost weight very fast, but we couldn't sustain those diets. So we ended up putting back on all of the weight we lost plus more usually. When we did balanced diet is when we both went on doing balanced diet with portion control, we both were able to lose 130 pounds each doing it that way. The third one, you might not be drinking enough water. When we started, we aimed for eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. That's about two-ish liters. What we learned is that if you're not hydrated, your body can actually fake you out and make you think you're hungry. It'll give you hunger cues and you'll start eating, but what you really need is water. So when we made sure that we drank a lot of water, that we drank our eight, eight ounce glasses, we felt really good, we had lots of energy, and we felt full. We get that question all the time. When I start portion controlling, like, why am I so hungry? And most of the time they're not drinking even half the amount of water that they need to drink, and it does make you feel fuller, so just do it. Just drink your water. Yes. And also, your body is made up of like 70% water. You, you do need to replace that, especially if you're starting to work out too. Really make sure that you're drinking enough water. Even on your job, if you're sweating or whatever, you're losing water all day, so make sure you got lots of water. Especially like, we used to go a whole day and drink maybe half a bottle of water when we first started. It was not nearly enough. We notice huge results when we just started getting our water in. So that's a huge thing. Check your water. And make sure it's wet. Yeah, make sure it's watery. Because if your water ain't wet, you got some funny stuff. And then the seagull can't come. He likes water at the beach. Yeah, and french fry. Yeah, and popcorn. And, <laughs> and Fourth one, you've hit a plateau. Plateaus are completely normal. Kyle and I hit several plateaus along our weight loss journey. What we learned is that you're gonna hit them. When you hit them, you stop losing weight and what you've been doing before isn't working anymore. Your body is super smart. So it gets used to what you're eating and it will start processing that much more efficiently so you won't be burning as many calories and you won't be losing as much weight. What we learned was you have to trick it by throwing it a curveball. So change up the food you're eating. You can change up the amounts that you're eating. Eat a little less, eat a little more. You can change up your exercise. You can add more cardio or add some weight training. Just try switching a few things up and you'll notice your body will start kicking into gear again. You know, the crazy thing is down the road, like we wouldn't recommend this like in the beginning, down the road, when you're very close to your weight loss goal, even adding a meal where there's more calories, more food than you normally eat, sometimes we did that in the beginning and we would check our weight in a couple days or a day later and we'd be down weight. Yes, that, that's why I said sometimes by adding more. Yeah. Kyle's right. When we were closer to our goal, our weight, slowed, our weight loss slowed down a lot. So when we added in a cheat meal every once in a while, we realized our body kicked into gear again and we started losing weight again. So you just gotta play around with it through trial and error. That and little trick only works if you're busting your butt in the gym though. Like if you're yes. working out really hard, you can't just add food and then sit there and wait for the scale to go down. You no, know, more than likely, if you still have a lot of weight to lose, you'll need to pull back a little bit on your food or change up the foods that you're eating and see if you can kick through your plateau that way. The fifth one. Why did you do a dance there? You, um, you because, kicked your leg back. Because I, this, this is how I do it. I just. You're just feeling the energy flow. I'm just feeling, I have a lust for life. Okay. You know about that, Iggy Pop? Lust for life. You know? <laughs> Maybe I'm too old. <laughs> What's your diagnosis? My diagnosis is cute with muscles. Oh. Good enough for me. Let me tell the video. <laughs> so the last one of the top five reasons why you're not losing weight is you're either overdoing it 
or underdoing it. You may be doing way too much cardio. When we first started out, we were going bonkers with cardio. We were doing it like seven days a week, going hard. Once we, once we lost some weight and our stamina was coming, we were like, yeah, let's do it. Sometimes though, if you're in a caloric deficit, you're doing way too much exercise for what you're eating. And we did make that mistake along the way. Or you're not doing enough or you're eating too much. So be really honest with yourself here and look at your diet. Are you eating, you know, five to six meals a day spread out two to four hours apart? Are you doing cardio every day or workouts every day? That, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of cardio was reasonable for us. But if you're going like an hour a day and you're only eating like 1200 calories, that could be, um, your body could think you're starving because it might not be enough food. So be honest with yourself, look at how much you're eating and how much you're doing and see if it's too much or too little. And that should help you get back to losing weight or to start losing weight. Now, usually I am the one telling dad jokes or I wear my dad shoes on Instagram. However, now I'm going to have to be a little bit disappointed and angry dad because friends, you guys know better. This goes back. I'm going to add some bonus ones here. Do not see Nicole when, when I get angry dad on her, this is what happens. But friends, I'm doing this for your own benefit. Okay. Let's go back to marketing, specifically dark chocolate. Don't, going back to don't fall for marketing schemes, dark chocolate was pushed for the last you know five years as healthy. You know who did those studies? Chocolate companies. Google it. And another thing, healthy fats still make you fat. And one more of the angry dad and then I'll go back to normal <laughs> joke, dad joke guy. One more thing, natural sugar makes you fat too. So natural, because it's pushed in marketing as healthy, it doesn't mean anything. Natural sugar and healthy fats make you fat and dark chocolate is not healthier for you. Or it's not a health food. Dark chocolate's not a health food. We did in the beginning, we were letting ourselves have one square of 90% dark chocolate every day and it, it wasn't really satisfying because it was super bitter and there was not really a whole lot of like satisfaction to it. So we would end up, you know, going and getting a real chocolate bar or two and eating all of it. It would just send us into a backslide. So if you're craving something, what we learned was to give ourselves a portion of it and move on instead of trying to supplement with a protein bar instead of a chocolate bar or marketers, dark chocolate instead of real chocolate. Marketers want to sell you both. And the funny and thing know. is they own the so-called naughty chocolate bars and they also own the healthy dark chocolate squares and bars too. And that's what we did. We would buy the dark chocolate and then it wouldn't be satisfying. So we'd go out and buy two or three real chocolate bars. Come on guys. So just... <laughs> That's more disappointed, Dad. Come on, guys. That's so guys. sad. That's so sad. Guys, come on, so, guys. Moderation is what we learned. Everything on the, is on the table in a balanced diet in portion. That's how we lost our weight. Yes, healthy fats can be good for you if you do it in portion. Um, on our journey, we did moderate amount of healthy fats portioned out. Yeah, yeah, that and that I think goes without saying like you need fat, you need carbs, you need protein. And you don't need treats technically, but we enjoy food and we found giving ourselves portion treats really helped. Come on, guys. So, <laughs> guys. So, hopefully that helps you guys out and inspires you to try this stuff out and say Oh, hey, it really works. And <laughs> get on Instagram right now, I gotta tell you. Yeah. At the Colette's, okay? Because 
We're doing seagulls flying. We're doing dad jokes there. We're doing question and answers in the story. And we're asking you questions in polls. So get on there now, okay? Questions about polls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Okay. Or what? Or what? You know. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this popcorn at the camera and the seagull's gonna peck it. The seagull pecking up doom. Why do we have a seagull? Same reason we have a garden on. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Come on, out, peace, dudes. Come on, guys. <laughs>